Welcome to the AP Calculus AB video for skill number 108. I can evaluate composite functions. And featured below we have the Temple of Hephaestus and you can see that this temple is fairly intact relative to other temples of ancient times. And the trivia question for this video is who is Hephaestus, or what is this person and or God famous for? I feel, I feel. Do you feel alive? I feel, I feel, I feel happy of myself. I feel. All right, so a composite function is when you take one function and you kind of plug it in to the variable of another function. So, you're taking, more technically, you're taking the range of G, and you're taking that range, and you're going to plug it into your rule F, and that gives you F of G of X. I drew, let's draw this again over here, so it's more accurate. We're going to take the range of G of X and plug it into the variable or F. So this is kind of easier to understand if we take a look at examples. So I'm going to show you some examples. What I have here is we're told the rule F, which is 5x minus 3, and we're told the rule G, which is x squared. And we're asked to find the following. F of G of 3, which we could notate like this, it looks kind of like fog, and then of 3. What we're going to do is we're first we're going to plug 3 into the rule G, and that'll spit out an answer, and then we take that answer and plug it into F. So, if we plug 3 into G, we get 3 squared, which is 9, and now we evaluate F of 9, we get 5 times 9 minus 3, which gives us an answer of 42. Then I showed g of f of 3, and the purpose of showing this is to show you that seldom does f of g equate to g of f. So the order is important. f of 3 means take 3 and plug it into the rule of f. So we have 5 times 3 is 15, minus 3 is 12. So what we want to do is then take 12 and stick it into our rule G, which is going to be 12 squared, which is a value of 144. We don't necessarily have to have numbers. We can also do variables. So F of G of X means plug X into the rule G, which gives us X squared, and then plug X squared into the rule of 5 variable minus 3. So we do 5 variable minus 3 and that gives us 5x squared minus 3. If we go in the opposite direction, f of x is on the inside so we take 5x minus 3 and we plug it into the variable of g and we're going to get 5x minus 3 quantity squared which I simplified down to 25x squared minus 30x plus 9. I have two more examples. These are more in line with the examples you'll see on Khan Academy. And what they're doing is they're doing a little bit of composition um, that's slightly different, but it's still the same basic idea. So we are given a g of x and an f of x. And you'll notice that f of x is actually defined with g as part of the function. So when we get to that point of evaluating f, we're going to have to look at g to see what's going on. So our first example, f of g of 0 
means plug 0 into the g rule. So we have 2 times 0 squared, which is 0. So we're just evaluating f of 0, which means take 0 and plug it into rule f. We get 3 times 0, minus 7, plus 3 times g of 0. So I guess we're going to have to evaluate g, what g of 0 is. And fortunately, we've already figured out that that is 0. So we'll get 0 minus 7 plus 3 times 0, which is a total of negative 7. In example 3, similar idea. I broke down all of the steps. So h of t we're given, and it includes a rule for f, and f of n we're given and we're asked to find h of f of negative 1, which means stick negative 1 into the variables for the function f. So we have 3 times negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 minus 7. And if we simplify all of that out, we get negative 2. So what this is actually asking us is to evaluate h of negative 2. So we take our negative 2 and we stick it into the variables for t. And we're going to get 7 times negative 2 squared minus 4 times f of negative 2. Well, f of negative 2, we haven't figured that out, so we need to go do that. f of negative 2 is stick 2 into the variables, and we evaluate that out to be 9. So we have 28 minus 4 times 9, which is 28 minus 36, which is negative 8. So in the end, h of f of negative 1 is equal to negative 8. I encourage you to check out some more examples in my Calculus BC video and my soon-to-be-posted pre-calculus video. Thumbs up, everybody! All right. For Wacka and <laughs> All right, this concludes the video for Skill 108, and featured below is the Temple of Hephaestus. Hephaestus was a Greek god, the son, one of the sons of Zeus and Hera, and Hephaestus was the Greek god of blacksmiths and craftsmen and artisans, sculptures, metalworks, etc. If you would like to see more examples of this skill, I encourage you to check out video uh, BC203 and PC19. I will try to link those below.